Up next is e-commerce. This category is for outstanding success by an Australian business in selling goods or services to customers overseas via an electronic network, including cross-border e-commerce and online sales. Australia Post is the proud sponsor of this category. I'd like to welcome their General Manager of International Product and Portfolio Development from Australia Post, Lucy Watson-Jones. Lucy, tell us a bit about Australia Post's support for exporters and also these awards. Thanks, Koshi, and hello, everyone. We're so thrilled to be supporting um, these awards for another year, and it was so wonderful to read the applications from the amazing finalists in this category. Um, Australia Post is probably better known for the support we do for our domestic e-commerce, um, but less so for cross-border. Partnering with Austrade and sponsoring this category is a really great, great way for us to get closer to what small businesses are doing and what challenges they have. Um, and speaking of challenges, you know, we're first and foremost provide international logistics, which has been hugely challenging over the past couple of years. But it's been fantastic to see the um, continued growth of consumers buying from merchants here in Australia and the growth of our businesses here in Australia. There's still a huge opportunity. With, we're thrilled to be helping those businesses. And the finalists in the e-commerce category are uh, Aussie Net, Clean and Pure, Delishu, Milton and King, Modi Body, Scoop Boot, and SK Designs. Uh, good luck to all the finalists and congratulations. And the winner of the Australian Export Awards e-commerce award is Clean and Pure. Ah, <laughs> oh, Mark Chapman, I love it that we're in the storeroom and the, the export hub of the uh, the business here. There, you've seen some phenomenal results, a 1,000% a increase in online sales following a passionate customer championing your product. How incredible is it to see the impact of the support and advocacy of customers and making a difference like that? Oh, look, it's great. Um... Look, I really think that uh, the Australia brand and natural products is, uh, you know, it's a big trend. It's always been there, and uh, the pandemic forced us down the e-commerce road, and uh, that meant that we got to, you know, we could go to more places faster um, than traditional exporting. So, yeah, yeah, it's been great. Well, I, 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 I love your colleague just behind you, still packing, and they're working hard. Have you told them you've won the award yet? Let them know. <laughs> no, no, they've got to keep working, Koshi, mate. Oh, mate, okay. You know, we're a timesheet, <laughs> you, mate, yeah? In a, in a business like yours, um, Brand Australia, how important is it? Because we, uh, the Australian brand is like a, a prestige product, a prestige brand, isn't it, to have associated with your own products? Look, we actually carried out surveys because we didn't understand why we were being successful. Um, it's hard to uh, zero in. So we actually carried out surveys on our customers and we found that people were buying not because they loved Australia, although they, I'm sure they did, but specifically they were buying because they could trust Australia. And if an Australia logo was on there, they knew that the ingredients were what we said they were. And we had a good regulatory environment to, that we had to produce to a certain standard. And so the Australian made logo gave us trust around the world. So. Yeah, that is a really good lesson for all exporters. Mate, congratulations on winning the award, the e-commerce award. Now, come on, turn around and tell them you won. A big cheer. Hey, come on, everybody. Come on, there you go. Excellent. <laughs> I love it. Oh, you're doing a bit of surgery there. No, not at all. Uh, oh, is this an employee or a relative? Uh, I, I better not say. No, it's my wife. It's my wife. <laughs> <laughs> Good to see. Congratulations again on winning the e-commerce award and uh, fabulous um, to see you. Good on you. Oh, what a great story. We've had some fantastic wins already and we've seen the support coming through on the app as well. Thank you for sending through your comments. Let's take a look at some of them now. Jacob says, congratulations to all finalists and well done for pushing hard through a tough year and a half. 
Christina says she loves watching Australians punch above their weight. I agree with you, Christine. Uh, good luck to everyone. Uh, Jane Kelly says best of luck to all finalists. Advanced Bentleys and C Max are holding an event on uh, on Ghana land. And great comments so uh, from everyone. Keep sending them through. Be part of it um, because it is the exporting community is a really big, close, supportive and inspiring community. So stay in touch. Uh, stay tuned. We've got so much more to come, including the highest accolade for exporters in the country, the big one, the 2021 Australian Exporter of the Year. We're keen to hear which industry or sector you think is going to take home the big award tonight. Let us know on the chat and send through all the details.